I'm really flexing the Tokyo Ghoul right now. I'm on vacation, so I don't have my microphone. Thus, you guys are getting a Clay Emu style car vlog for today's NHL trade update. We have ourselves a trade between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Chicago Blackhawks. Pittsburgh sends Olimata over to Chicago in exchange for Dominic Cahoon and a fifth round pick. Now, this from the surface, I believe it's a pretty even trade. What you get from both sides is the filling of needs. Because Pittsburgh, what they're getting here is a draft pick, of course, it's a given, and they're also getting Dominic Cahoon, who is a 23-year-old 5'11 German forward. Now, he used to play in North America back in his minor hockey days, but Dominic Cahoon put himself on the map playing in the German leagues two, three, four years ago. He was really good over there, so I was really looking forward to seeing what he would do at the NHL level, and... In his first season in the National Hockey League, he got 37 points with the Chicago Blackhawks in a bottom six role. So that's very nice to see Pittsburgh stocking up on their top nine bottom six depth. And at the price of an Olimata, it's certainly something that I believe Pittsburgh Penguins fans should be pretty happy about. Now, Chicago fans, what you're getting in Olimata is a 24-year-old left-handed defenseman. He is a pretty solid defensive player, but there are some issues that people have been bringing up about his speed, his skating, etc. But Olimata has been coming off of some injuries here and there. Two seasons ago, he played 82 games and he had, I believe it was 40 points. Actually, I just checked it out. Olimata had 29 points two seasons ago. And last year, he had 14 points in only 60 games played. So Mata is in a position where he's probably going to need to catch up up to speed, get himself up to 82 games once again, and he should be good to go. He is 24, so he does have a lot of room to develop and prosper. So overall, it's a pretty even trade. Mata is not necessarily someone with super high trade value, and Dominic Cahoon, although he is young and he hasn't necessarily been the most popular in terms of trade value and all that, he's still a very solid bottom six, top nine player that can probably play in the top six once in a while, but I think Max is out as a top nine guy with some really good work ethic and some good speed. So overall, I think it's a pretty good trade for both teams. You're filling up needs, you're getting a left-handed D-man, a pick, and a nice young German forward. And it's not really something that I can look at and say that any team won or lost here. It's just a pretty even thing, for my opinion. But that's the trade for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. So, Social Gaming, and bye.